jab, hook, cross. What's happening guys, your man Michael Andrula, and today's lesson, we're gonna talk about relaxing and getting into stance. You could be tense, you might be loose, but if you are tense, it's gonna hurt our striking. So what we wanna do is relax as much as possible. Let's take a deep breath in, let it out, shake your muscles out. You start from a relaxed position, everything else will branch off well. The striking is a series of explosions. It's not like a fire that's burning, burning, burning. Explode, nothing. Explode, nothing. Just breathe, you relax. Right-handed, left foot forward, left-handed, right foot forward, but either foot would be fine, depending on your preference, and you might do equal in both spots. So we relax, we stay loose, there's no tension at all. Again, knuckles, wrist, elbow. We're gonna treat this like one object. Elbow to shoulder, loose, like it's a bungee cord. It has a little bit of a elasticity to it. It's important to think about this as one object, almost like you're gonna release another object. What your body does, when you throw a baseball, you know you're gonna let it go, so you're able to ramp up the speed. Your body allows you to ramp up that speed and fling that baseball. But when you throw your own arm, especially initially, muscles are fighting against muscles so that your arm doesn't just fly out of the socket and cause damage. So it's really labored and struggles early on. So you have to, in your mind, think about lead two knuckles, wrist, uh, elbow, as an object that's coming out and pulling back. A lot of this stuff is done in the mind and then your body will reflect it. Lead two knuckles, wrist, elbow. So we have our stance. First thing with the stance is we don't want too much weight forward. And from the last 20 years, I can tell you that's probably the biggest mistake is weight is so far forward that it's making you off balance, especially when you're reaching your arms out. So it would probably be better to have too much weight back than too much weight forward. So you can always use your back foot and counter it and fix that, that section of your body. So a good rule is a little bend in the lead knee. And if you pretend you're in a lunge, right, you're in a proper lunge, your back is straight, your stomach's tight, your shoulders pin back, you're just good. You're lunging down, everything's nice. If you're too far forward on a lunge, it's not gonna work. So what you do is use that lead foot like you're pushing back this way in your mind. You're pushing back this way. Use your back foot like you're springing forward, springing forward. The two energies are gonna meet right at your hips. Lead two knuckles, wrist, elbow, of course. So you're lined up. If your stance is off, it's gonna throw everything off and you'll be compensating and making it much more difficult. So it's important to have a nice wide stance. I look at my stance and the bag or the target like a triangle. One point, two points, three points. Right? It's coming into this formation. If I was out here, it would change things a lot. It would be on a line. I don't want to be on a line, I want to form a triangle. Shaking loose, the jab. So many different ways to throw it and so many different little twists and turns. What's up? Hold on, let's Roundhouse, jump switch. Jab. Up. Cross. 